Propagate across sheets allows the creation of one or more sheets based on the current worksheet with members of one hierarchy swapped for other selections. Here, we have a simple grid that shows the reseller sales amount for all products and its children between January and December 2022, filtered for all geography. This grid only displays the total result for all geography. If we want to see the result split by country, we could move the geography hierarchy down onto the rows. However, there is an alternative method if we wish to keep the same grid structure, the option to propagate across sheets. To propagate, right click on the geography hierarchy in the filters, then go to Fluence Excel and then propagate across sheets. In the menu, the hierarchy is pre-populated as we right clicked on geography. We then have to choose the selections we want to see the grid filtered by. We want to see the countries, so we can simply select the children of all geography. There are a couple of options at the bottom of the dialog. We will look at these in more detail later. Let's click OK to execute the propagate. We now have a separate sheet tab for each choice. As we look at the tabs, we can see that the grid structure is the same, but the member for geography is different. All new sheets function as new independent grids, so we can still drill into our data and calculations and filter the grids. The propagate menu options allow us to further customize the setup of the duplicated report. We can replicate the sheet as static values to share a snapshot of the data by inserting it as text. By default, only the grid that is being propagated will remain a live grid. Other grids will be converted to values. To avoid this, use the Keep Grids Active option. The option to move grid references to a new sheet will change any range driving the grid to the new sheet. If not ticked, the reference stays on the original sheet that was used to propagate. This allows you to keep a central driving cell as all grids will be controlled by the original cell, or to have personalized control per grid as each grid has its own driving cell. We can combine these two options to create more elaborate reports, giving us an overview and details for each selection with no extra work. Here, I have the original grid and a second grid showing the children of my geography filter on rows. By using the Keep Grids Active and the Move Grid References options, I can quickly create new tabs showing the product detail and geography breakdown in a couple clicks. Lastly, the option to create a new workbook allows you to quickly create a new workbook containing only the results of the propagate. Propagating sheets can be very useful for quickly exploding a report out across different parts of the business. We often see this used to replicate a report for quick distribution. Furthermore, the propagate across sheet option can be set up to be automatically used when scheduling report distribution via Fluence Excel Web, allowing for full view of the data to be shared with no user input needed.